Hi, Math Explorers! Welcome back to another exciting lesson here on Study Buddy PH. Before we start, let me ask you this. Have you ever joined a class survey like, what's your favorite sport? Or how many hours do you study every night? Did you know that those answers can actually become data? And we can show them using graphs? Today, we'll discover how to collect data pairs and how to choose the right graph to represent them. By the end of this video, you will be able to 1. Collect data pairs, bivariate data, through interviews or questionnaires. 2. Identify which graph, bar graph or line graph, is best to represent the data. Before we dive deeper into our lesson about graphs, let's first unlock some important words that will help us understand today's topic better. Ready? Let's go! When you hear the word data, what comes to your mind? Maybe numbers? Charts? Tables? You're right. Data is a collection of information gathered by observations, measurements, research, or analysis. It can be facts, numbers, names, or even descriptions of things. Now that we know what data means, the next word is data collection. Data collection means the methods we use to gather information from different sources for a particular purpose. In short, ito ang paraan ng pangangalap ng impormasyon. We can collect data in many ways, like through interviews, by asking people questions directly, questionnaires or surveys, by letting people fill out a form, or observations, by simply watching and recording what we see. When we say data pairs, we're talking about two pieces of information that go together. Like a pair. In math, data pairs are a set of paired observations or measurements collected for two related variables. Sounds a bit technical. Don't worry. Let's make it simple. Let's start with something familiar. Look at this table. Now, class, let's answer a few quick questions. How many female students love playing volleyball? Yes, 30 female students. How many male students love football? Correct, 15 students. These numbers are data, collected information that we can show in a chart or a graph. When we collect information like numbers, names, or answers, that's what we call data. When we collect two kinds of information at the same time, like height and weight, or math grade and science grade. That's called data pairs or bivariate data. Example. Each student here has two pieces of data, one for math and one for science. That's a data pair. There are many ways to collect data pairs. Interview. Ask people questions directly. Questionnaire. Give a survey form for people to answer. Example. You could ask your classmates, How many hours do you study every night? And what is your math grade? Boom! You already have two sets of data you can compare. Now how do we show the data clearly? Let's find out. Bar graph. Uses bars to compare quantities. Best for comparing categories like favorite snacks subjects, or colors. Example, comparing the number of boys and girls who like different sports. What do those bars, blue bar and orange bar, represent? Correct. Number of boys and number of girls who voted for a particular sports now let's check your understanding. A. What is the data about? B. What do those bars represent? C. What information does the last bar represent? D. How many teachers oppose the change in school starting time? E. 
How many teachers favored the change in school starting time? Line graph uses points connected by lines, best for showing changes over time, like temperature, population, or sales. Look at the example at the right, then answer these questions. A. What information can you read as you see from the line graph? B. What values are found in the x-axis, y-axis? C. What is the temperature on September 1st at 4 p.m.? D. What is the highest recorded temperature on September 1st? Now let's practice. Refer to the line graph in answering the following questions. 1. What information can you read ox C from the line graph? 2. Which data from the graph indicates a period of time? 3. What is lowest points of the line graph? Describe the lowest point using the data values found in the X and Y axis. 4. What is one information that you can read from the graph? So, what did we learn today? 1. Data is information we gather and organize. Two data pairs are two pieces of information about the same subject. 3. We can collect data through interviews or questionnaires. 4. We use bar graphs for comparisons and line graphs for changes over time. We use these graphs not just in math but also in real life, like tracking our savings, grades, or even temperature. Great job, Math Explorers. You did amazing today. Keep practicing how to collect and represent data because numbers tell stories too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this lesson with your classmates. This is Teacher Waven, your study buddy in Math 5. See you next time. Now, with the help of your teacher, do the following activity.